Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Twilight Princess. Let's continue on here through the forest temple. Two sculptures here. I wonder what we should do. <laughs> the monkey just kind of fell down there. They, they can keep up with you, even if they seem to just completely fail at it. They're always right there whenever you open the door. So in this room, we have sort of a mini-boss, I guess. I don't know. I don't think it really constitutes a mini-boss. If we'd ever get to it. Ooh, there's a small key just laying on the ground, and it just got swiped up by a big plant. That put it inside of another big plant. So we have to fight both big plants. It would help if I was actually L-targeting it. This is really simple, just strafe to the left or right whenever it attacks, just do a jump attack at it. Uh, really no threat whatsoever. Three attacks and it's done with. So now that opens up. We can't just exactly, you know, reach inside and grab the key though, so... We gotta look around for a bomb. It'll be so nice when we get our own bombs. Just walk it back over here and play some basketball. Perfect shot. Nothing but net. Wouldn't that blow up our key, though? Nah, I guess it's like some sort of reinforced steel or something. I don't know. So there's our key after it's been digested. It's still nice and shiny, so that's good. And obviously we're going to be using the key to save this monkey. I don't think this guy's got anything good in his in his little cell there, so I'm not gonna bother checking. And now let's backtrack a little bit more. Uh, there's actually something else we can do inside of this room that I'm about to get to right now. Take this bomb and kind of just throw it off this ledge here, and I missed, of course. So let's try that again, shall we? Come on. There you go. Okay. A little more that way. Oh, okay. It landed on the other side of the ledge. Oh, come on. Let's stop failing here and actually get this. Okay. There we go. Because obviously that plant was guarding a treasure chest, and that treasure chest looks important. And hurry up and explode. There we go. So let's drop down and check it out. It's a piece of heart. There's two in this area, and uh, I know where the other one is, but we can't quite get it yet, so. But we will, all in due time. Alright, now that we've got these two monkeys combined with the two we already have, we've got sort of a party of four here. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I hope that ends up being the screenshot, the uh, the little thumbnail, you know how awesome that would be. But with our four monkeys, they're now all beckoning me to come back to the center, so... <laughs> wow, <laughs> I feel like everything's so crowded with all five of us here. And now they can form us a little swing way, I guess, in order to get across. <laughs> I don't know if I like this more than the rickety old bridge, uh, but at least this is fairly easy to do. Jump, 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 jump. I think it is actually possible to mistime that and fall, but I'm not sure because I've never done it before, so... So if we remember, this should be the room where that big monkey was with the boomerang. At least this was the direction it came from, and judging by the fact that we're getting locked in, I'd say that's a pretty safe bet. There he is. Whoa, that looks like an awesome boomerang. Oh, so of course you're going to be cheap about it and send your cronies after me. Ugh, would you stop smacking your ass at me? Like, seriously. Don't worry, the way we get to kill this guy is actually pretty funny, so... <laughs> I look forward to it anyway. Basically, just wait till he throws his boomerang, roll into that pillar, it's pretty simple. And then, hit him in the ass. That's so funny that that's his weak point, but... Oh well, there you go. So this is really painfully easy. 
I always like to open with a jump attack and then do the regular sword attacks. I don't know if that actually does, like, any more damage than just attacking regularly. I don't think it does, but I don't know, that's just what I do. I like the jump attack to close the distance, I guess. So he should be about done. I think I only need to knock him down one more time. Come on, just hurry up and throw one at me. There we go. <laughs> right in the pillar. Oh, so that doesn't look pleasant. So yeah, basically, the story is this big baboon here was being controlled, I guess, by that spider. And... Boo! Uh, yeah, so he, he's actually a very, very shy creature. He was just being taken over by that spider there. And guess what he left behind? He left behind his boomerang. Which, it's it's no longer has that dark thing, which is kind of disappointing, but uh, it does house the Fairy of Winds. Yep. So, if, if focus power, you don't actually have to focus anything. I mean, it does it automatically. But now we have the Gale Boomerang. With this, the slingshot, uh, basically, I don't think you're going to see it anymore. <laughs> Just to be completely honest. So, uh, they decided to pretty much upgrade the boomerang again from Wind Waker. Wind Waker upgraded from the Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask by letting you lock on to, like, five different targets. And Twilight Princess upgraded into letting you actually select what targets you want to lock on to. You have to press R. Whereas, you know, in Wind Waker, if you just kind of ran the, the targeting reticle over something, it would automatically select it. So, I don't know, this is... I don't know why they make you do this three times. It's really annoying. Just to make sure you've absolutely, you know, figured out how to point at something. So there we go, that takes care of it. Like, the first time I did this, I thought I was gonna take, like, ten throws, because it was going up so slowly, I'm like, oh man, this is ridiculous. But thankfully, it's only three. It should be only one, but... Alright, so we're making some progress anyway. Now that we have the Gale Boomerang, we can spin around this bridge by hitting the little windmill-type thing on top of it. And there's another monkey in a cage. So we can also use the Boomerang to cut that wire. That, it looks kind of like a web, actually. And we freed another monkey. That's basically uh, what your objective in this temple is. Just look around for monkeys and try to free them. Uh, there's like seven or eight in total, I can't remember, but... Yeah, pretty much. Just save all the monkeys you can. So, uh, let's go back across this way. I have a feeling this is gonna spin around while I'm on it, isn't it? Okay, maybe not. Oh, crap! <laughs> I almost made it. There we go. <laughs> Now we're coming back. Uh, this was this is the room that you would come in if you were uh, if you went left from the main room. And uh, if you you probably recognize this place. I don't know why I blocked him there. I didn't really need to. Okay, I want to be going in this room again. This is the room that had the tile lurkers in it earlier. I said that we'd be coming back to do something, and well, now we're back here to do something. We can actually take care of those tile lurkers now. If you I'm not back there. If you target the tile that they're on, you can lock on. You can even get, like, multiple ones if you want. It'll knock them up out of it. And throw them in the water and they all die, so... I don't know, these are pretty easy to avoid, though, so... Anyway, your objective here this time, instead of lighting the unlit torches, we want to extinguish the torches that are already lit. This will, uh, lower the staircases. Alright, and there's a chest back here. This chest back here contains... The other piece of heart. So that's all the pieces of heart in this dungeon. Pieces of heart. Yeah, I guess that would be right. And all that's left to do now is pretty much just to look for the monkeys. Uh, we still have to find the compass, but it'll, uh, we'll grab onto it pretty soon here. The compass makes this a whole lot easier, because it, it highlights where all the monkeys are. 
<laughs> oh, pff. right, right into the side there. Oop, missed there. Whoa, I've never actually seen it get back on the plant. Oh, what are you doing? I've already hit you. That was annoying. Well, we're back uh, here in the main room. I'm gonna try to get the compass real quick because it's in here. You may have noticed the chest that's hanging from the ceiling. You may have noticed that earlier. Just cut the web here, and... This chest contains the compass. So that's good. Now that we have a compass in tow, as well as our Gale Boomerang, I'm gonna end off the part here with something useful. So uh, next time, we'll continue on through the Forest Temple. Hopefully we'll finish it, so uh, I'll see you then.